and welcome to the BU TV News at Noon. I'm Mike Neff. Topping the news this midday, President Obama arrived in Israel today for his first visit there during his second term as president. After an arrival ceremony at the airport, Obama will then head to Jerusalem to meet with Israeli leaders. The president will focus on creating peace between the Israelis and Palestinians and will look into Iran's nuclear program. Obama vowed eternal U.S. support for Israel, declaring that peace must come to the Holy Land. It is in our fundamental national security interest to stand with Israel. It makes us both stronger, it makes us both more prosperous, and it makes the world a better place. Obama will close out his Middle Eastern trip with a 24-hour stop in Jordan, where he will focus on the violence in Syria. The U.S. ambassador to Syria says that the Obama administration has no evidence to support claims that Syrian rebels use chemical weapons against their own people. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad claimed that U.S.-backed rebels unleashed such weapons in the providence of Aleppo. CNN's Ed Payne takes a closer look. This visit is President Obama's first trip to the region since his inauguration in 2009. Countable. I'm Ed Payne reporting. If the attack is confirmed, it will be the first time a chemical weapon has been used in Syria's two-year-long crisis. Washington continues to insist that no chemical weapons have been used. Marine officials from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, are conducting an investigation into the deaths of seven of their Marines. Last night, residents gathered for a memorial service in honor of the fallen Marines. The seven were killed when a mortar explosion sent shrapnel flying into a training group exercise in Hawthorne, Nevada. A Marine official says they will not know how this happened until they investigate. In a mortar too. But let me tell you, the investigation, we'll look into this and find out exactly what happened. And I think we're pretty early in that at this point. That Marine official said the investigation will determine whether the explosion was a result of a failure to follow procedures or rather whether it was just a malfunction. Colorado's Governor John Hickenlooper just signed a bill limiting magazine rounds and expanding background checks for gun purchases in his state. This comes in the wake of the murder of the head of Colorado's Department of Corrections last night. Despite Colorado's move, Democratic Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid expressed doubt about the passing of a federal bill pushed forward by his colleague, California Senator Dianne Feinstein. But right now, her amendment, using the most optimistic numbers, has less than 40 votes. I, that's not 60. I have to get something on the floor so we can have votes on that issue and the other issues that I've talked about, and that's what I'm going to try to do. Although passage of the assault weapons ban is unlikely, expanded federal background checks remain in the package. 